What you're looking at is part of an innovative technique in the fight against climate change. The problem, though, in this case, it's a crime. Basically, right here is where they pried up the box, and one gentleman pried it up while the other one snuck his hose into the box to siphon out the oil. Private investigator Patrick McCall describes how people steal used cooking oil from restaurants and other food establishments. It's the same oil you use in your kitchen. So why steal it? Look at it this way. What do you pay to fill up your car? Of all fuels available at your gas station, diesel is the most expensive. And this used cooking oil can be converted into high quality diesel as well as pharmaceuticals and cosmetics. So anyone stealing oil used in a restaurant's fryer is getting money for nothing a lot of money. They have a $28,000, $30,000 bay day every week, you know? They don't understand this. It's like liquid gold, basically. Romeo Hour owns Barona Bay, a restaurant in the Hamptons. The used oil that he stores here gets picked up and then is processed by this oil company, which pays the restaurant about $400 for each vat. I would say now it's probably the worst it's been uh, since I started doing these investigations. Here's why. Of the eight different fuels tracked by the government, pure biodiesel, called B99 or 100, is the most expensive and its price has shot up nearly 70% in three years. Harvard professor Daniel Schrag is an energy technology and climate change expert. He points out that biodiesel's future looks promising. The use of those renewable biofuels in the long run is going to be important in other parts, you know, putting renewable biofuels into trucks or into ships or a variety of other things. That could be good news for the environment and for thieves. We can hide these and put these anywhere, um, and they provide a, a wealth of uh, information. McCall shows one of the cameras that record clear surveillance video of alleged oil thieves. The ex-cop works with local law enforcement to nab the crooks. However, they're getting slapped with these misdemeanor charges, being given the vehicle right back, uh, which is their tool to steal. And they're coming back out, you know, losing the same day if they're getting the vehicle out of the impound and stealing again. There's a growing movement to toughen laws against people stealing the oil and processing it illegally. According to several New York investigators, suspects take their stolen oil across state lines to New Jersey or Pennsylvania to processors who don't ask questions. California and North Carolina have made oil thefts felony crimes. In California, it can result in up to six months in prison. The state has seen a dramatic drop in thefts.